Hey everybody, my name is Leeboss11 and welcome back to another episode of Shadowverse. This time we have the Eternal Awakening expansion with this new Shadowverse expansion that has been introduced with the new cards based on the Eternals from Granblee Fantasy. I know you guess there's a lot of shiny stuff, but let's get into it. Boom! Alright, so disclaimer, I have no idea how Granblee Fantasy works. I've never played it. All I know is it's like a gacha. You spend money and win the game. Who knew? I forgot to download off stream. The first thing we're gonna do is open up a bunch of packs and buy the Battle Pass. That's me. I'm a shill, I'm a whale, and we all know what whales do, they immediately buy the battle pass at the beginning of the season, even though they don't need to, because they're impatient. Also, I got a free season claim out of it, so it's not all bad. I think time to open some goddamn packs. Whoops, I'm terrible at pack openings. Woo! Oh, okay. Now, basically, the new canic introduced in this expansion, Turn Lock Union Burst. Because why the fuck not? Thank you, Psygames, for introducing such an arbitrarily similar and yet unique mechanic to Shadowverse. That's a lie. Uh oh, we got another one of this guy. He he doesn't even look that good, not gonna lie. Kinda missed out on all the pre-expansion card reveals because I was busy twiddling my thumbs. Let me look at the buy packs. There's a whale section for whale things. Not gonna lie, it does look kind of pretty. So I think the first thing we need to do, like at the beginning of every other expansion, is click fire all the cards that we don't like. And we're up to the farm part where we just start chucking a bunch of cards into the liquefaction pile while we take a look at what the new cards actually do. Okay, I guess we have average mechanics outside of Bloodcroft now for some reason. What the hell? And I think we're at the end of the liquefaction table already. The thing that happens at the beginning of every free barking right Rotation, yep, there we go. Let's see, I'm gonna steal someone's deck list. Roach, Roach, Roach. I think that was it. I'll probably craft the rest of what I need, but for now, I'm so stole a deck list it. for Unlimited for Roach. And I'm gonna see how it goes. Chrysotic, Liza, I wanna take out Fertile. See what we can get. I probably should have traded out the Chrysotic, actually. Not sure why that's in the deck. Wait, no, 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 let me think. Alright, so the reason you put Quixotic in is you put it on in like turn 4, turn 5. It's a fairly standard body and it contributes to your Roach damage. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's turn 5 by the time you have the Quixotic activates on turn 5. When you get a turn 5, you slap it down. And it's plus 2 damage to your Roach. That's huge, actually. That's fucking huge. Early turns, I guess, it contributes to... I want to play Lies into Confection or Lies into Quixotic. Probably Liza to Confectioner actually, because yeah, I get more value the longer the Liza's on board. I, I like this tech actually, not gonna lie. Apparently Runecraft got a new 1 mana bronze that does something, so I'll take a look at that later. There's a 3 mana that does something, so I'll take a look at that later. Ooh, that's wild, he actually went for it. Wow, are we confectioning on turn 4? Maybe I'll double Travel's Rest by it. Now here's the question, can I Roach Lethal next turn? To play the Kazotic, I have 13, plus the Evo, 11, so you only need to make up 11. 11 from 1, 2, 3... No, I have to use the Wind... I have to use the Bound on the Rice, not the Roach, so it'll be like... I need to make up 11 still, so that's 11. 1... Two, so that'll be on two damage, and then I bounce it. So three, four, five, seven. That's not enough. So I have to either Kazotic or Travelers. Wait, no. Yeah, that was a toss up. Kazotic or Travelers. So I think I just Travelers this turn. And then what happens next turn? There's like Kazotic into Alchemical Confection or something like that. Ooh, that's wild. Is he? Going to have that turn six. Oh, he's playing Windbroach. Okay, so I am ahead of him in terms of. Ooh, I have to deal with that actually. That's annoying. Unless he's going to bounce it. Yeah, he's going to bounce it. He's going to have a little bit of damage. And then this turn, I'm going to play the Exotic. Except the way this works is oh, uh, one, two, three, four, and then five, six. 6, 7, 13, 2 off. Seriously? Wait, is that seriously 2 off? Uh, if I have the Wisp, alright, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5, 6, 11. 11, Evo, 13. Yeah, that is 2 off. 
by Exotic, I'll only be on 14 though, so... And I wouldn't have the extra zero cost in turn 3, so I think I got a confectioner here. Then... Yeah, we got the right one on the draw, otherwise I'll be very sad. Exotic, and then you just evolve for pressure. Yeah, he's only got four roaches, so if he goes one, and then he needs three roaches. He needs to play six roaches? Let me think, let me think. Can he zero to lethal? Six, seven, 13, 15, that's not enough. 16, three damage, all right. I should be relatively safe, depending. Why does he have a fairy wisp? Where do you get that one from? Wind fairy. Oh yeah, board lock. And then roach, evolve roach. Oh no. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but okay. Tashi no Kachida. So I return that to hand. So that's a pseudo draw on. Alright, I want to test something, but... I feel like if I play the Wisp, it's going to take away the Wisp. So 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7? 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7 13. Yeah, that's enough. So I can test this. Yeah, oh, so it does have that interaction, so you do need to play it. I still have enough damage, though. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Alright, so... Hey, it looks like Roach is back on the table. That's interesting, giving you a bounce with the Wisp on top, plus Quixotic for extra damage. But you do have to keep an eye out for your ordering, so you can't play the Wisp because it take, was, takes away the Bullet Bike. Which is unfortunate. But I guess you're getting plus 2 damage out of it for minus 1 before the second roach, so it's... Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Still works out. Alright, and we're back into game 2. Let's see... Alright, we're gonna train out the tie hand. Hopefully we're drawing something that draws our motherfucking roach. We're going second into Anvil, which is a... Annoying as fuck. And it's turn one now, Bill. If we've already lost a fucking game, I want to kill. I'm gonna pull a what we call a Papega move and top left in probably a few turns. And then Forbidden Teach is not too bad, but it's still a possibility. So I'm gonna Quixotic into Liza. That's like, gonna give me a bit of chip damage. I can see why Quixotic works in this deck for the early pressure and for the turn 5 setup to the turn 6 lethal. If I last that long. Sudden Showers is also for helping to deal with large bodies. Ooh. I hope I draw Arius soon because if I, if I don't draw an Arius, I'm going to be huge trouble. Trouble thing. He's got the setup for a turn 4 board. If I play this, that's at least going to give me a little bit of pressure, but he, uh, oops. If he gets that turn 4 on the anvil into the skull thing, oh no, oh no, you're kidding. Alright, wham bam, thank you man. Can't deal with it, can't deal with it. One anvil? Yeah, I can deal with it. Two anvils is, yeah, way too much. I'm not dealing with that shit. I refuse to deal with this shit. Man, Anvil is still top of the meta, huh? Well, let's go into yet another bloody fucking Avon craft. I'm already tilted. I'm only like three games into the meta. Ah, you, you take what you can get, W. Uh, definitely want to keep that running North Rage. Do I want to keep the snipe? I want to throw the snipe, but I want to turn one damage and and hand up. So I'm actually going to keep the snipe and use on turn one for a little bit of chip damage. <sighs> I hate this pain. I can't even play running North Rage because if I play right North Rage and I want to airbound barrage it, I can't airbound barrage it because I don't have anything to bounce up and I'm not counting on drawing into a self-targeted bounce, which doesn't require an enemy target. Not gonna have the Selena, but he is gonna have the. Oh no. Okay, we good for now. For now. Can I play Kazotic into something? 
Try Kazotic Evolve or Kazotic Rhinoceros? Kazotic and Rhinoceros. Because like, I, I don't have anything else to use, that's the problem. I didn't draw any of my draws, so I'm kind of just a sad boy. I guess I'll try and hit him for a bit. For the face. This is annoying. This is a massive royal pain. Okay, at least he doesn't have the anvil, so... He can't even evolve trade over the roach, which is... Which is hilarious, actually. So I'm gonna have that roach on board for another turn. And I can even airbound the roach. Four. Okay. Two, three. Do I need it airbound? What if, what if, what if I ride Nosa Roach? I do want to get rid of the... I could have hit him for like, what? Three damage? Because I left it like this, I'm gonna have to go one, two, three. One, two, three. Shower's Roach Roach. So the last Roach will be able to break through actually. Ooh. Wait, no. Wait, if he places the repose, then 100% he doesn't have a anvil this turn, right? He's not going to have the anvil ward, so should be able to pop off, but this is an extremely low roll for him. Man, I, I don't like unlimited. This anvil, this anvil mid is getting to me. And, yeah. Okay, so you evolve, you get 7 HP. So 1, 2, 3, that's 6, and then you evolve 3, 2, 3, 8. He has 2 mana left to do something. I like pull a gamer move, gamer move. Hmm. Yep. Okay, we won. One, two, three, and you can smile. I hate this dude. Roach is a thing. Anvil still a fucking bitch. I'm Blue Blade Eleven, and catch you next time on the next episode of YouTube episodes of Blue. Blade 11, except it's not Blue Blade 11, it's actually Blue playing Shadowverse. Cha-chao.